First thing we're going to do is check underneath the truck, make sure there's no leaks. Come up here and check our headlights. Check them on high low and high and low beam. Make sure they're clean, not cracked, and working. We'll check our emergency flashers and turn signals. Make sure they're clean, not cracked, and working. We're going to check our clearance lights. Make sure they're clean, not cracked, and working, and they're amber in color. unlocked. Okay, we're going to come over here. On our right side, first thing we're going to do is check our coolant for level and condition. Make sure it's secured. Check our hoses. Make sure it's not leaking. We'll check our exhaust. Make sure it's secured, not leaking, no black soot. We're going to check our oil for level and condition. We're going to check our alternator. Make sure it's secured. Check our wires going into them. Make sure they're not frayed and it is belt driven. But down here, check the water pump. Make sure it's secured, not leaking, and it is gear driven. We're going to check our belt. Make sure it's secured, not frayed. Don't want to have no less than one half to three quarter inch pull. Yes, everything on our right side of our truck. Now we're going to go over to the left. We're going to check our air compressor, make sure it's secured, not leaking. Check our lines and hoses, make sure they're not leaking or cracked, and it is gear driven. Come up here, we're going to check our power steering fluid, check it for level and condition, make sure it's secured. Check our hose going into it, make sure it's not leaking. We're going to check our steering column, make sure it's not bent. Check our gearbox. Make sure it's secured, not leaking. Check our hoses going into it. Make sure they're not leaking. We're going to check our pitman arm. Make sure it's secured, not bent. We're going to check our castle nuts and cotter pins front and back. Make sure they're secured. We're going to check our drag link. Make sure it's not bent. We're going to check our steering arm. Make sure it's secured and not bent. We're going to check our front axle. Make sure it's secured, not broken, no welds. We're going to check our shock, make sure it's not leaking and it's secured. We're going to check our tie rod, make sure it's not bent. Check, make sure it's greased on both ends. We're going to check our frame, make sure it's not bent or broken, no illegal welds. We're going to check our spring mounts, front and back, make sure they're secured, no bolts missing. We're going to check our springs, make sure they're secured, none missing, and they're all aligned. We're going to check our U-bolts, make sure they're secured, no bolts missing. Whenever you got spring mounts, you got springs. Whenever you got springs, you got U-bolts. The reason I'm telling you this, when we get back to the tandems of the tractor, you won't be able to see your U-bolts, but you still got to sail, okay? Okay, that takes care of all of our suspension. Now we're going to go to our brake system. First thing we're going to do, check our hoses and lines going into our brake chamber. Make sure they're not leaking. Make sure our brake chamber is secure, not leaking. Then we're going to check our slack adjuster, our push rod, and our cotter pin. Make sure there's no more than one inch pull by hand. Then we're going to come in through here. We're going to check our brake drum. Make sure there's no cracks, no discoloration. And we're going to go in here and check our lining. Make sure there's no less than a quarter inch on the pad. Now we're going to check our steer tire. We're going to check it for ICD, inflation, condition, and depth. If you can't remember that, I can't dance. Inflation, 100 pounds. Condition, no cracks or bulges, outer or inner. Depth, no less than 430 seconds, and it cannot be a recap. Come out here, we're going to check our rim, no cracks or welds. Check our lug nuts, make sure it's tight, none missing, no white powder. Check our oil seal, outer and inner, make sure it's not leaking and it's got a cap on it. We're going to check our valve stem, make sure it's secure, not leaking, and it also has a cap on it. Come to the side of the truck. First thing we're going to check is our signal indicator, it's your turn signal. Signal indicator, clean, not cracked and working.